And here we have another dodgy black belt for you. Here we go. Oh, she didn't break it. Oh, we should do it the second time. Here we go. Oh, no, but she's hurt her hand. Now the hot chop for each chop. Yeah, she managed to do that. Here comes the kick. Oh, no break. Here goes the second attempt. Oh, still nothing. Can she do it? Can she do it? Oh, oh still no. One for luck. Oh. Here we go, another dodgy black belt for you. Oh, he hit it, but didn't break it. Oh, he hit it, but didn't break it. Technique is completely wrong. Oh, he completely missed that one. And he fucked that up as well. So he's given up on that one. Oh, at least he hit that one. Oh, and he broke that one. Here we go. The ultimate test. Will he get his technique right? Will he actually put power into the kick? No, he completely misses. Come on, come on. Oh. And he hits the poor guy who can no longer take it anymore. Here comes the student. Oh, completely miss. Did he get it? Oh, oh, he hit it, but missed it. Oh, oh. Ah. Here we go, another rubbish knife technique. What pees me off is people think this works. As you can see, look, straight away the guy's released the grip. Now she's managed to parry the knife over to the other arm. Also strip the knife off the person, attack him. Oh, and then attack him. These martial art instructors need to be taken out in the street and shot. Here we go. We have some high level black belt sparring. And as you can see, they obviously done online classes and read books without any practicality. When I was training, I remember getting my leg put straight over someone's shoulder to really high for extend. But nowadays, I guess it's like anything. If you try and try and try, you're still going to be crap. Here we go. No, still nothing. Whoop. You know, Jackie Chan will be shitting himself right now. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Whoop. Still missing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's going on here? Thank you very much for being crap. I love you, buddy. Here we go, we have Karen again explaining another gun technique. I love the way she explains this about body mechanics moving out the way. But the first one's going to be in super fast speed. Here we go. Yep, she would not have got shot and that guy right behind her would have done nothing. <laughs> again, if your instructor looks like this and behaves in this way, Run, run for the hills. I think she should be giving you money for this. Here we go. She's going to show the game super slow. Yeah, she's grabbing the gun. The guy behind her just won't ever shoot or do anything. But yet, this is more bollocks. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Some more rubbish, ball crap, knife techniques. But this guy takes the frigging biscuit. He just parries everything away. Whenever I get teach anyone about knife techniques, the first thing I say is, if you can, run like hell. You do not want to get stabbed. Trust me, it freaking hurts. But if you do have a technique against you, get hold of that arm and you keep that arm. It's a birthday present. Never just let, think, oh, no, I'm just going to let him go and just wander around. Attackers won't thrust once. They will thrust multiple times. So if you ever see this guy on the street, just look at him and go, yes, mate. You're a cock. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to let you watch this first before I tell you what's annoying me. The guy in the red is supposed to be defending against Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu takedown. And as you can see, the guy in the black has never done a Brazilian class before. He's nowhere near a takedown. He's nowhere near a rugby tackle. All he's doing is running straight in, grabbing him and falling over. The Wing Chun guy, yep, yeah, for what he's doing, he's doing a good technique. He's doing speed punches. I appreciate that. But if you're going to do attack and a defense, make sure the frigging attack's right. Because otherwise, you look like an idiot. He looks like an idiot. Okay, another BS Very instructor. I'm just going to let you attack. listen to how he explains this all. Because it's correct, not because it's light. Light is just light. Or... We could talk about how he's not he's even so really powerful. doing anything. Oh, but... he crushes me. Wow. I use, not light, I use heavy. Apparently this I guy's got a big following. 
Very heavy. I have no idea why. I think everyone in the right. audience deserves a full refund. Are you very slow? If anyone can explain to me what the hell this guy is talking very about. Slow. Doesn't matter how fast he wants to move. I'm are you lost. slow? Why are you very fast? I am Change. seriously lost. Not light, not heavy, <sighs> not fast, not slow. Cor Happy Monday, everyone. And here's another bit of BS martial artist. This guy is showing you with a couple of pushes in the right places, you can immobilize your opponent. Here we go. Wow, look at that actor. He is totally frozen in position and the crowd are just amazed by it. They are amazed that they had to pay for this. But look at this guy. He is totally in control. Look at him, can't move. Oh, he's gonna put him to the ground and now, wow, he's recovered. Here we go. What's he going to do now? Is he going to do it again? Oh, he's poked him in the ribs and now he can't move again. This guy's acting lessons are amazing. But sir, you are today's BS martial art instructor. He's back. The Don't couch kung fu expert. Mm. Put the mind in the feet. <laughs> I put my mind in the what feet. is he talking about? Are we having a martial art class or an acting class? My feet. I have his feet. I don't know what's more concerned. The guys who believe it or what, what he believes right he's feet. doing. You touch, I feel your feet. You touch okay, me. we need to I put just giving page together, wave some money because up, get him over and put him in a cage with someone. My feet, I can control you. Mm -hmm. Touch the place foot. Touch the foot. I reckon he'd last touch. Touch. Uh, three seconds. Okay, nothing, right? Yes. Uh -huh. nothing. You're comfortable. That's being generous. Your feet. Touch the feet. Oh. I want to cry. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. The master of sitting down and doing nothing. And today we have a new actor to play. Here we go. Oh, he's pushed him away without doing much. Wouldn't mind, but there's nothing in there, no base, no nothing. Oh, look at the strength! I think that's the first time that guy's ever done a split in his life. But even the guys in the background are trying the same stuff. Oh. Well, at least it makes us laugh, doesn't it? Look at him. <laughs> oh, I can't, still can't believe this guy has a massive YouTube following. People actually pay to see him. Well, at least we know we're sitting down and we're going to cross this guy. Anyway, I'm not going to do it. Today, sir, yep, you know the word. You are a BS in martial arts. Here we have another BS technique the power of the cross. It's able to stop all these are people. Look at that. Stopped him straight away. I reckon this is a group of vampires. This must be the only way that would ever work. Here we go. And he's been stopped again. Wow. Backwards right out of that one. Might be his bad breath. <laughs> I have no idea. Here we go. I believe I found the Michael Jackson martial arts. Because that's all he seems to be doing is dancing. I think he's trying to show everyone how to get away from two opponents. Honest, I'd run. But for this guy, he's just wiggling himself around. I don't know if he's got oil or Vaseline on his arms. But if anyone knows what this is or what this is called, please let me know. Or I know this is BS. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Here we go. So my keto. BS martial arts today. This guy must be the same person that taught Steven Seagal. <laughs> but what you'll notice, everyone in the back is actually having contact with their partner, doing techniques. But this guy, he's using the force. He's controlling his opponent and letting him fall all over the place. Here he goes, oh! That's taken years of skill, that has. He must be using... I have stinky breath. As he comes over, he's down again. 